Over the past 10 years, we've seen Tesla bring the price of their vehicles down substantially. From the sporty Roadster to the Tesla Model 3, Tesla has revolutionized the way people see electric vehicles. However, Tesla's vehicles are still too expensive for the majority of the population. On Tesla's battery day, Elon publicly acknowledged that Tesla's $25,000 electric sedan is coming. Now there are a few small but subtle leaks that you may have missed that point towards the specs of their new vehicle. In this video, I'm going to go over everything we know about Tesla's $25,000 vehicle and why this vehicle is about to change everything as we know it. Welcome to Kaz Games Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. Elon Musk has been hinting at a Chinese compact vehicle for quite some time now, which makes Tesla's announcement of its $25,000 sedan shocking. Now before we get into the specs and timelines, we need to go over the evidence we have. During Tesla's battery day, Elon specifically stated that Tesla's first goal is to get an annual battery production capacity in the unit terawatt hours, which to put into reference is equal to thousands of gigawatt hours. Yet while some people may have been listening to Elon's explanation of the first goal, all lies were on the new quote unquote small car that was concealed in a white blanket like covering. So goal number one is a terawatt hour scale battery production. So tera is the new giga uh, and a terawatt is a, a thousand times more than a gigawatt. So uh, we used to talk in terms of gigawatts, uh, in the future we'll be talking in terms of uh, terawatt hours. So this is um, what's needed in order to transition the world to sustainability. 30 minutes later, another picture of the covered vehicle was shown, this time referring to battery chemistry. Pay close attention because this hints at the specs we can expect from this vehicle. So in order to scale, uh, we really need to make sure that we're not constrained by total nickel availability. Um, I actually spoke with uh, the CEOs of the biggest mining companies in the world and said, uh, please make more nickel, <laughs> it's very important. Um, and so th I think they are going to make more nickel, uh, but uh, it, I, there's also, uh, you know, uh, I think we need to have a, a, a kind of a three-tiered approach to, to batteries. Um, so starting with iron, that's kind of like a medium range, and then nickel manganese as sort of a medium plus uh, uh, intermediate, um, and then a high nickel for long range applications like Cybertruck and uh, the semi. The iron that Elon mentions here is referring to the lithium iron phosphate chemistry, also known as LFP. This technology is used in the Chinese made Model 3 and has a cost per kilowatt hour of $80. We'll soon cover and calculate what we can expect from the electric sedan later in this video. Now, just 20 minutes after this reference to the electric sedan, Elon finally publicly acknowledged the vehicle. Uh, what does it mean for what does this, what does this mean for our future products? Uh, so, uh, we, you know, we're confident that long term we can design and, and manufacture a, a, a compelling twenty five thousand dollar electric vehicle. Um, so, you, you know, this 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 has always been our dream from the beginning of the company. I even like wrote a blog piece about it um, because. Um, you know, our first car was was an expensive sports car, and, and then it was, then it was like slightly less expensive sedan, and then finally it's sort of a I don't know mass market premium, but you know like the Model Three and Model Y. Um, but it really it was always our goal to try to make an affordable electric car, and um, I think probably uh, w w yeah, like I said about about three years from now uh, we're confident we can make a very com a, a very compelling twenty five thousand dollar electric vehicle. Uh, that's also fully autonomous. The statement that Elon makes here is extremely important. The release of a $25,000 vehicle is not just a fascinating product for the consumer. Rather, it marks the fact that electric vehicles are much cheaper than internal combustion engines. Drew Baglino, the senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering at Tesla, explained this significance in the following clip. And when you think about the $25,000 price point, you have to consider how much, in it, how much less expensive it is to own an electric vehicle. Yeah. So yeah. actually, it, it's, it, it becomes even more affordable at that $25,000 price point. At this point, we know that Tesla's electric sedan is using LFP chemistry. We also know that the vehicle will be manufactured three years from now. With the addition of a few key points, we can easily get an accurate guess as to what this vehicle will look like. Relax. Just to be clear, the LFP battery chemistry will not be Tesla's Roadrunner cell, but rather, 
It is contemporary Amprex Technology LTDs, also known as CATL's lithium iron phosphate cell. Tesla's Roadrunner cell announced on its battery day has a high amount of nickel that allows for a much higher energy density. This is especially important for vehicles that tow heavy metals, such as the Cybertruck and Semi. On the other hand, Tesla's electric sedan is built primarily for family use. Elon even hinted at the fact that the sedan will be a robotaxi if full self-driving is ready by then. So given that we already have the specs of CATL's battery, we can estimate the specs of Tesla's electric sedan. One major advantage of CATL's battery is the fact that it not only has a lifetime of a million miles, but also has a decent energy density. When you combine this with Tesla's advanced thermal regulation, this gives Tesla's vehicles a very high driving range. According to Tesla's filing of its Chinese Model 3, the specs actually didn't change after using CATL's batteries. This all comes at a cost of $80 per kilowatt hour according to a Reuters report. Now keep in mind that this isn't Tesla's battery, so we can use other vehicles as a benchmark. More specifically, the Xpeng P7 is an EV that has a similar curvature to Tesla's upcoming electric sedan. In addition, the P7 also uses CATL's lithium ion phosphate battery. At the lowest price point, the Xpeng P7 cost about $33,000 and has an NEDC range of 349 miles. The NEDC is China's range estimate that typically estimates a range much higher than the EPA's. To put the NEDC range into perspective, the Model 3 Standard Plus has an NEDC range of 286 miles and has an EPA range of 250 miles. If we assume that the NEDC is off by the same percentage, then the Xpeng P7 base version has around 284 miles on the EPA test. Given this, we can estimate a range of about 250 miles on the base version of Tesla's electric sedan. Elon Musk has previously stated that at least 250 miles is required for Tesla to release a vehicle, leading me to expect at least 250 miles on Tesla's electric sedan. In addition, Elon Musk's robo-taxi announcement hints at the fact that Tesla's electric sedan will first start its production in the US. Tesla's robo-taxi software testing and coding has been primarily built in the US, so it wouldn't make sense for Tesla's $25,000 vehicle to be released in a different country first. Also, keep in mind that Elon has been preparing a compact vehicle for China, so it wouldn't make sense for both the compacts and sedan to come out in China. The last clue we know of is that the vehicle will indeed last for 1 million miles with CATL's LFP chemistry. At Tesla's battery day, Elon never mentioned the lifetime of the Roadrunner cell, which many assume to have a million mile lifetime. If the cell doesn't, however, then it makes a lot of sense to use CATL's LFP battery. Tesla's $25,000 vehicle is built to be a robo-taxi as Elon mentioned, and because of that, it requires a high lifetime in order to incentivize owners to add their vehicle to the robo-taxi fleet without being worried about battery degradation. Let me know in the comment section below if you would purchase Tesla's $25,000 electric sedan. Also, during one portion of the livestream, Tesla placed a strange looking object under the quote unquote future plans. Is this the compact vehicle that is going to be manufactured in China? Or is this just a construction hat? Let me know, I'm on Twitter at Kazgains. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.